Alright folks, Anonymous Alligator here again. Quick little short video, just uh, going over how you can actually get uh, HT1250 and compatible radios. Um, working inside of a XTS multi-unit charger. It should work for a single unit charger as well, but I haven't tried it yet, nor will I. I mean, I've got only multi-unit chargers. So, as you can see here, I've got a Motorola R765IS. It uses the HT1250 charger and accessories. And uh, normally, if you were to fit it inside of a um, XTS charger slot, Let's see here. God, I hate how you have to line these up. There we go. You line it up, wouldn't work. However, if you back it out ever so slightly, Oh, there we go, come on, there we go, start charging. So, how can you fix this? Well, let's just say, mouse pad. Um, you're going to want to cut up a little square. You don't want to do the full base of the radio, otherwise it will interfere with these, I uh, don't know if you can see it in there, the little wing things that are inside the charger. If you have one, you know what I'm talking about. So, you want to make it a little bit... Not well, not as wide as that, and stack about three layers of mouse pad in there. Kind of fit that in there. Make sure it's up against the pins. That's what we're caring about. We're not so much caring about over there. Only about the pins. And then now, you can line it up right. Not be an idiot. Fits in just like you would a normal radio, as long as you line it up right. But I mean, who doesn't have trouble with that? And bam works. You know, if I put it in there and wiggle it, it's in there right at the right height it should be. It's the Adapter Cup Motorola Nether Made. But, I mean, honestly, I love, like, the little adapter cups you get for things. I wish they made one officially for the 1250 for this, but mouse pads will have to do. So, see you guys later. Anonymous Alligator, out.